Hey, it's your Uncle Herman here, and I'm still an alpha male. Today, I'm delving into yet another TikTok conspiracy, as I unpack what's going on behind the account known as Inca Star, who many believe is being forced to make TikToks against her will. Inka Star is the name of Inna Simakova, a Russian TikTok star with over 12 million followers on the platform. She rose to fame by making lip sync videos and can often be seen wearing elf ears and lip syncing with a girl called Christina, who people speculate is her sister that she is supposedly being held hostage with. They rarely speak in their videos and instead use lip syncing and emojis to communicate, which is such a cryptic way to make TikToks that it's almost no wonder some of their messages are being interpreted as cries for help. Their audience has speculated that they are using emojis that suggest that they are in danger or have been kidnapped. They've also been noting the way that they look, suggesting that they appear injured or scared. It's a similar situation to that of the mother-daughter duo Bebop and BB, which I covered in my video a few months ago if you're interested. There will always be endless speculation depending on the viewer's own cognitive bias. If you're convinced that they are being held hostage, then all the evidence will point to that in your mind. Whereas if you're sure that they're just having fun on TikTok, then you are more likely to easily debunk any theories. So let's look at the evidence for and the evidence against the theory that these two are in danger so that you can form your own conclusion. The first bit of evidence is that people in Inca Star's comments will often tell them to wear a specific colour in the next video if they're in danger. They can sometimes be seen wearing those specific colours in the next video, and some think that they're being made to wear these colours to suggest that they need help, which will ultimately bring more attention to their account and make them money. This money could be going to them, their manager, or indeed a kidnapper or person controlling them behind the scenes. But the main piece of compelling evidence that they could be in danger is the use of the hand sign that has been popularised on social media that people can use if they need help. There are a few instances where Christina in particular can be seen doing this sign with her hands, which could mean that they are in danger or in the presence of violence in their home. This hand signal is not just used for instances where someone's being kidnapped or held hostage, it can be used to subtly signify that someone's in danger or in a dangerous domestic situation, all of which should be investigated by authorities if this is the case. It seems to be Christina who presents as the most potentially in danger. She's the one seen doing the hand signals and looking scared most of the time. She also seems to be significantly younger. Inna has said that she is 35 and Christina 15, in a trend that gets them to state their name, their ages, their favourite colour and other basic things about them. They've done this video a few times recently, changing their ages each time. After the one where they state they're 15 and 35, posted in November 2021, the very next month, in December, they posted the same video but this time saying that they were 20 and 35. My name, my age, my favourite colour my high, my sign, do I have a lover? Then somehow in January of this year, Christina aged down and they became 19 and 36. Inna's age seems to be relatively consistent, apart from the fact that she looks way younger than 35, but it's very suspicious to me that Christina went from 15 to 20 and then back down to 19, and they've made no attempt to clear their account of the conflicting accounts of their age. It's very strange to me that someone would repeat this trend within less than a month of each other, claiming someone has aged four years in a month, and then just leave it up as if it's normal behaviour. And the further back you go, the younger they get. In July of last year, they posted the exact same video, but this time saying that Inna was 17 and Christina 15. My name, my age, my favourite colour My high, my sign, do I have a lover? We just can't know the truth, but young girls lying about their ages is usually a red flag, especially when someone goes from being a teenager to saying that they're in their 30s in a matter of months. I have to question what they're trying to do with these videos and who's controlling the narrative. People have also been speculating that the emojis they use and point to in their videos are indicators that they are in danger. They will often point to police officers or police car emojis, which could be a sign for viewers to alert the authorities. Although if they have access to a phone where they can upload 
to Instagram and TikTok freely, it seems that they are in control of who they can contact. But then again, we can't know how free or restricted someone's social media is. It could be controlled by someone else. They have also been seen putting quite violent emojis in their videos and looking kind of scared when they act them out. Their physicality's also changed a lot since their older videos in 2019 where they were getting started. They seemed much less stilted and more expressive, and they would often film videos out and about or showing the outside, which they don't do anymore. This may suggest that something has shifted in their situation behind the scenes. They seem to have become more reserved and nervous in their videos. It could be a character choice, or it could be that they are in a more dangerous situation. Overall, I think that this evidence definitely points towards something fishy going on. It's not enough evidence necessarily to say that they are definitely in immediate or concerning danger in my opinion, but they have certainly changed their demeanour as they have grown on TikTok to something much more sinister. This next theory is one that I'm kind of just sticking in here because I think it's interesting. I don't believe it personally, but some people are speculating that Inner is actually some sort of robot or AI. It sounds ridiculous, but there are robots programmed with artificial intelligence that have become social media stars, most notably Michaela, who is famous on Instagram and TikTok and is literally a robot. And people have said that Inner's movements, or lack thereof, remind them of these automated robotic social media personas. The main evidence for this seems to be that Inna very rarely blinks and we don't get to see her talk or be out and about in regular situations very often. There's actually very little other evidence to support this theory apart from the strange eyes, expressions and lack of blinking. But people have said that Inna's hands are suspicious. This in my opinion is probably a bit too far and just an unfortunate hand position that's probably ended up looking odd at an angle. But I will admit that the lack of blinking is very creepy and does give her a robotic vibe, which could point to something sinister or maybe that she's holding something back in her videos. The robot theory sort of feeds into the larger theory that Inna is actually maybe safe and is responsible for holding Christina captive or putting her in danger in some way. But the more we look into the evidence against the conspiracies, the less weight this argument appears to have. The other argument is that they are faking it for views and that the kidnapping narrative is a hoax created by conspiracy TikTok. There are always going to be loads of comments telling them to wear certain colours if they are in danger for example, so whatever colour they end up wearing in the next video is bound to line up with one of those comments. Therefore it's so easy to think that this is evidence when it could just be a coincidence. The help sign could also just be a brief hand movement that's included in their TikTok dances. It's possible that they might not even know that this is a recognised sign for help, though this one is hard for me to dismiss because that sign has saved people before and it could be a cry for help. But their Instagram tells a vastly different story to their TikToks. On both Inna and Christina's Instagram they seem to be living fairly normal, typical influencer lifestyles, posing outside, going to restaurants and tourist hotspots and hanging out with friends. This points to the theory that they are in fact just influencers who maybe have a more stilted and strange way of lip syncing to videos than your average TikToker. They could be playing into the whole kidnapper or danger narrative for views and attention, or perhaps they're not addressing it for the same reason. Having an audience tuning into your every video because they're looking for signs that you're in danger is one way to build an audience. It may not be an ethical way, but we've seen it before where TikTok personalities end up getting a huge audience because people think that they're a part of a larger conspiracy, then they end up playing into that for views and revenue. They might have noticed that the more robotic and scared they look in the videos, the more views they get, so they keep doing it. This might also explain why their physicality's changed and why they might even be playing into things like making hand signals and wearing colours that correspond with their concerned commenters. It could just all be for clout. As I mentioned before, a lot of conspiracies like these can arise from cognitive biases and a need for patterns. Humans naturally seek out patterns and answers to things that we do not understand. This is how a lot of conspiracy theories start and gain popularity. If we convince ourselves that the reason these people post strange, stilted TikToks is because they're being held hostage or because one of them is a robot, that will become our reality and everything they post will suddenly become evidence. In my opinion, a lot of this is speculation, but I won't rule out that something strange is going 
going on here. The strangest piece of evidence for me would be their constant changing of their ages and repetition of this strange trend where they say their name and age. Your name, age, sign and nationality stay the same apart from once a year where your age will increase. So why would you repeat this video every few months changing the age so dramatically? It seems like they're trying to cover up or clarify their ages in a not so clever or subtle way. Or maybe they truly are just messing with us. This is kind of an inconclusive video as until someone speaks out we cannot know if they're in danger or not. But I hope that I've presented enough evidence for and against for you to form your own opinion on the topic. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have as always been your Uncle Herman. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one.